Hi, my name is Dr. Jason Lord. I'm the managing partner for Laser Body Renewal, where we specialize in laser fat loss and skin tightening. Now, if you haven't already heard, recently there's been a major technological leap forward in non-invasive laser fat loss and skin tightening. Comparatively, it's as big a leap forward as it would be to suddenly go from a pre-iPhone era Blackberry to today's latest smartphone. Now this new generation of green laser is called the Emerald and it sets an entirely new technological benchmark as the first non-invasive laser awarded FDA approval to successfully treat patients with a body mass index up to 40, which is considered clinically obese. You see, in the past, cosmetic body sculpting devices were just that, for cosmetic spot fat reduction only. But with the Emerald Laser, we now have a non-invasive, painless laser that's clinically proven to reduce overall body circumference, not merely spot fat reduction. And it works even in people considered clinically obese. So how does it all work? And what makes the Emerald Laser such an improvement over the last two previous generations of laser technology? To answer that, it's helpful to start with a brief explanation of how non-invasive laser technology has evolved from attempting to freeze and kill fat cells to today's more modern approach. You see, the first generation of non-invasive lasers for fat reduction were classified as cold lasers. Now, cold lasers, just like it sounds, used cold in an attempt to freeze fatty tissue so deeply that it would kill the fat cells. Now, the big brand name cold laser most people know about is called Cool Sculpting. It was the original. And for nearly a decade and a half ago when it was introduced, quite frankly, it was, it was groundbreaking. Because it was the first time there was a non-invasive, non-surgical alternative to treat unwanted body fat. Prior to cool sculpting, the only solution was surgical liposuction with all of its costs, risk, pain, and scarring. But like every first generation of technology, it was limited in its effectiveness and, frankly, it had some unanticipated side effects. You see, since cold lasers froze and killed fat cells, many people's bodies reacted to this deep freeze as an attack on the body's biological food stores. That's right, it may be hard to believe, but our bodies view our fat cells as valuable assets of an emergency food supply that it's saved up to keep us alive during times of food scarcity. So it desperately tried to preserve the fat by attempting to restore or make new fat disproportionately in other non-treated places of the body as a way of compensating. Sometimes it even resulted in what's called dysmorphic body shape changes where lumps of excess fat are restored by the body trying to compensate for the lost fat from the freezing process. These lumpy, irregular, or asymmetrical bulges of fat did not look natural. And it was certainly not ideal. But again, it was, it was early days technology released way back in 2011. That's well over a decade and a half old now. And certainly not seriously or widely used by today's standards and clinical expectations. So in order to deal with the shortcomings of the first generation of cold laser, in 2016, a second generation of non-invasive laser technology arrived with a more advanced approach classified as hot lasers. Hot lasers solved a number of the challenges from the cold. Instead of freezing fat cells, they used the opposite approach and heated fat cells. By heating fat cells instead of freezing it, it more closely resembled our body's natural fat elimination process called lipolysis. Lipolysis is when our bodies naturally tap into our fat by gently breaking open fat cells, releasing the stored fatty acids in order to use them as energy. Now this is important. By heating fat cells rather than freezing it, it did not kill the fat cells. So. It avoided a confrontation with our body that resulted in body resistance to freezing. With hot lasers, the fat was simply metabolized out of the body through normal metabolic processes and eliminated through natural waste and lymphatics. Hot lasers completely eliminated the reactive response that made lumpier so-called dysmorphic body shape changes associated with the freezing. 
In addition, they could cover a larger surface area painlessly without pinching, squeezing, bruising of skin and fat tissue that was necessary with the cool sculpting of early approach. By working cooperatively with the body rather than in an adversarial way, the end result was a fat reduction that looked natural and was painless. But as you might imagine, the challenge with hot lasers was that we couldn't use an intense or high levels of laser energy or people would have been burned. So they were set up to use much lower levels of energy that were diffused over a wider surface area rather than concentrating the beam. The bottom line was hot lasers could not reach as deeply or get results as quickly and they took more sessions and were more expensive to see results. Most importantly, they were limited in their effectiveness with more obese individuals who frankly needed the help the most. Finally, in 2022, a third generation in non-invasive laser technology has arrived with the Emerald Green Laser, which as I said before, it's a quantum leap ahead of anything we've seen to date. The Emerald Laser now uses 532 nanometers of green laser to target the subcutaneous fat right below the surface of the skin. The green laser allows for approximately 30% more energy to be used than the older red laser technology. In addition, by putting the laser diode heads into a steady sweeping motion, it remains completely painless. It doesn't burn the skin, all while being able to treat an even larger surface area than previous hot laser technology with a stationary energy beam. The Emerald Laser allows for an unprecedented depth of fat targeting while simultaneously increasing the surface area that can be treated in a single session. In addition, the pinpointed concentrated energy from the Emerald Green Laser technology does something both previous generations of hot and cold lasers could not. You see, just like when our bodies go into that natural state of fat burning called lipolysis, the Emerald Laser is able to stimulate inside the fat cells the same natural hormonal reaction in the mitochondria of the fat cells, mimicking exactly the way your body does when it turns to your fat stores to extract the energy from them. This hormonal reaction is called a biochemical or a biohormonal cascade. It's a series of natural, healthy, and helpful chemical signals that are communicated from fat cells to other fat cells all over the body, even ones too deep to be reached directly by lasers. The chemical messages tell other fat cells that it's time to begin releasing their fatty acid contents because our bodies want to use that stored energy reserve from the fat. The mitochondria of our fat cells house a special protein called cytochrome C oxidase or CCO. CCO gets excited by the energy from the green laser which then influences the production of ATP, which in turn influences the production of nitric oxide and reactive oxygen species, or ROS. Fat cells respond to this biochemical cascade by emulsifying the fat cell contents into fatty acids and opening up a transitory pore in the fat cell wall. The fat content is gradually released through the fat cell through the transitory pore into the interstitial space. Lymph vessels then transport the now freed fatty acids to lymph nodes where they're broken down by macrophages, which is a type of white blood cell. They're used up as CO2 in breathing or feed muscles and organs. Now, I know that's a lot of highly technical biochemistry. And for those who want even more information, we have links to a few published FDA clinical trial research on our main website that you can dive deeper into if you'd like to read this. However, the main takeaway is this. Non-invasive laser fat reduction treatments are not new. It's been around now for nearly a decade and a half, and the technology has been steadily advancing and refining in safety, in outcomes, and effectiveness. Right now, a third wave of innovative technology in non-invasive body fat reduction is here, and it's a massive leap forward from the last generation, and we're seeing amazing results with it. The Emerald Laser is the only non-invasive laser to be 
FDA approved to reduce overall body circumference in people considered clinically obese. It can effectively treat people with a BMI of up to 40. This is much more than just spot fat reduction of the past in people who are already trim. There's absolutely been nothing even close to this level of help available in the past short of a surgical intervention. Now, if you don't know your BMI, it's not a problem. Everyone who comes into a laser body renewal office for a free consultation starts with a digital body scan of their entire body. A digital body scan takes precise measurements of every body area you're interested in addressing. Then based on your age, your gender, your height, your weight, and measurements, it determines your baseline BMI, or body mass index providing us with a precise measurement and images of exactly where your body is starting and guides us to make a more precise session recommendation. We take new scans again at the end of your laser session regimen to see exactly how your measurements have changed and to visualize and document your body shape transformation. Now I hope you found this conversation informative and not overwhelmingly technical. To learn more and to schedule a free consultation at one of our offices or to register yourself for an Emerald Laser Session discount, click the button or links below to visit our main website.